Welcome to the world of Oracle Apex, the last lecture we have covered what is Oracle Apex architecture and now jump on to the structure of the Oracle Apex. So the Oracle Apex has a work area is called a workspace. When I use a creative workspace here, she became the administrator so that the administrator mastered database through database schema. So by default, when you're creating a workspace, one database schema is mapped and later on the administrator can make requests to add multiple schemas to the workspace. Also, the administrator can add multiple users to the workspace as well. So the privileges and the access to everything are controlled by the administrators. So this covers the administration part. Now, coming to the design part, a workspace can be divided into applications, and each application can be divided into various features of the page that can be represented as a web page. So all these things are interlinked to one component called shared components. So the shared components include security, plugins, themes, templates, and various list of values that can be added to this as a common feature. So this gives a brief overview of what is Oracle Apex structure. This flowchart will be very useful for you, and you'll be able to connect easily once they are done with the practical part of Oracle Apex. Please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon to get notification of next video.